It's been nearly a week now since the U.S. and China struck a deal to allow Chen Guangqing to come here to study. Chen is the blind human rights lawyer who escaped from house arrest and sought help at the U.S. Embassy. But for now, he is still stuck in Beijing. Chinese officials say they are going over his paperwork. So are the Chinese going to honor the deal? Earlier today, I spoke with Holly Williams from British Sky News in Beijing. Holly, how does the Chinese government view this at this point? Well, we can only speculate, but I think from the Chinese perspective, there's really no good option here. Uh, if they allow Chen Guangcheng to leave uh, China, that looks weak. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if they don't let him leave, then this whole issue will become a sort of uh, festering wound on the face of U.S.-China relations. The night that Chen escaped from his house arrest, he was met by a fellow activist and driven all the way to Beijing. I wonder what's happened to her since then. Well, that woman is named Pearl He or He Peirong in Chinese. And I actually spoke to her a, a couple of days ago via Skype. She really stressed that the initial escape uh, was all uh, Cheng Wang Cheng's own work. And she described it as a Shawshank Redemption style escape. She told me that after the escape, she had been detained by the authorities for a couple of days. Uh, she said that she was questioned very politely. But she said that the main problem for them was that they simply wouldn't believe that Cheng Wang Cheng had been able to to pull off that escape uh, all by himself. After his escape, Chen left a lot of members of his family back in his small home village. Have they been safe? Well, CBS spoke with Chen Guangcheng yesterday and he expressed a lot of anxiety and a lot of worry for those family members who he left behind, uh, his brother, his sister-in-law, his mother, his nephew. And we have a report from a human rights group that several members uh, of Chen Guangcheng's extended family have now been placed under house arrest. Holly Williams of British Sky News, thank you very much.